Hello everyone, welcome to the first obsession video of the Pen Ready Industrial Division in HO Scale. Today we will be working the Emma Local. As the job title states, the Emma Local works the Emma Industrial District, serving the customers of the town. These industries include the Emma Freight House, Valley Automotive Works, a Team Track, Hummel and Sons Furniture, Emma Cement, and Boyer Oil. In part one, we will concentrate on the Emma Freight House, Team Track, and Valley Automotive Works. It is 6 a.m. and we arrive at the Vine Street Yard office. Here we grab our job card and look over our switch list. Okay, it's time to look at our switch list here. And you can see our train number is EM1 for the Emma Local. One meaning that is the first local of the day. I normally would like to have one or two locals maybe an evening local or the daytime local so number one will be pretty much the first shift right and then local number will be 8014 8014 the date is september 15th 1948 we do model the fall season and so we are modeling in september so september 15th 1948 engineer Jinto, which is my last name and then we have our set outs. So these cars are what is on our train. And we're going to take these to the Emma District. So first we have CNJ12136. That's a reefer with loaded produce. That's all going to Emma, right? And the comments here, it's Terry's Produce. That will be the final destination for this car. We'll be unloading all the produce from out west. And then we have... Pennsylvania Railroad 255255. That's a covered hopper. It's empty. It needs to be loaded at Emma Cement. And then we have B&O 262776. That's a gondola and that has a machine inside. And so that's going to the team track. The team track is right next to the Emma Freight House, which we will see once we set off the car. And then we have Delaware Lackawanna Western 43628. That's a refrigerated car. And that has loaded beverages for the Sajeki Wine and Spirits. We can only imagine what kind of beverages those are, right? And then we have Erie 107984. That's another loaded reefer filled with wine. That came from out west as well, from the, the, uh, the grape orchards out there. And then we have UTLX 71373 and 71054. Those are loaded oil out from Philadelphia. Actually, they came from... The New Jersey coast, where all those oil refineries are. And that's loaded oil that's going to boil oil, and that's going to be emptied out at the transload there. And then we have Reading 104013. That's a box car loaded with farm equipment for Frank's Farm Co op. And that car came from out west. And so it was on the Reading Railroad and then came to the Penn Reading Industrial Division on its way into Emma. So let's look at the pickups because those pickups need to go on a train somewhere. And far far away okay we have our pickups here and we have reading 104030 that's a box car loaded with furniture from hummel and sons furniture company and that's on the storage track that's going to reading pennsylvania then we have the lehigh valley a558 that's a box car loaded with autos from the valley auto works right and that's going to harrisburg on the Pennsylvania Railroad. Um, and then we have Michigan Central 28547. That's a, a reefer with produce. And that's empties going from the produce back out west. Most of the produce that come to the east coast are from the west coast. All the beautiful fine oranges and peaches and lettuce and tomatoes all the, out that way. And then we have the THB... 4790, an uh, empty reefer, again, from Terry's Produce. That's also going to Reading. Then a Union Pacific, 184241. That's a box car that's empty. That's coming from Frank's Farm Co-op. That's going back out west on the Union Pacific, eventually, out to the farmland in the Midwest to be loaded for more farm equipment. And then we have UTLX, 71073 and 71409. Those are empty tank cars. From the Boreal Oil going back to Philadelphia via back to Jersey City on the CNJ. And then also we have Pennsylvania Railroad 255001, a covered hopper. Loaded cement 
which came from Emma Cement. That's also going to Philadelphia. And then we have Lehigh Valley, 50542. That's a covered hopper. That's Lotus Cement coming from Emma Cement, which is going out to Reading via Allentown to interchange with the Lehigh Valley out there. So that is our train. Those are set outs and pickups. And so let's get on our locomotive and let's head to the Emmett District to start our work. With paperwork ready and our train air tested, it's time to head west. We stopped to clear the switches per our rule book. After getting time and track from the tower operator, we uncouple from our train. We will run light engine and grab our auto box car off the team track. The previous job was kind enough to drag our car up so that we didn't have to reach all the way inside the industry. By the 1950s, the Emma Local used diesels to prevent steam and thick smoke billowing between the buildings. We will pick up the loaded box car with furniture so that we have space to set out our other cars. As we back into the industry tracks, the duster comes through with a pair of RS3s owned by the Reading. From the 1930s to the early 1950s, the Penn Reading Industrial Division used run-through Pennsylvania Railroad and Reading Power on mainline freights. The load of coal drag is headed for the East Coast Power Plants. We will couple to our train and come off with the caboose. It is time to sort out our set outs.
The two tank cars and the box car will be set out on the storage track for now. These cars will be used on the next video showing the rest of the work on the Emma Local. We will set out our reefer cars on the Emma Freight House track. Next, let's spot our B and O gone on the team track. In the future, there will be a small little platform so that way we have access to unload our team track cars. With a slight gray going towards the Emma Freight House and the storage track, we will kick our empty Emma Cement car down the storage track. Now let's take our two pickups and attach them to our caboose. That way we have a light engine to start working the Emma Freight House. The H10s are a 280 consolidation type. Built in the 1910s, it preceded the H8s and H9s. They served the Pennsylvania Railroad until 1957. Number 8014 is an ex Long Island Railroad leased to the Penn Reading Industrial Division. It is now time to work the Emma Freight House. The Emma Freight House is a fun yet challenging industry. The railroad serves three customers. This means that the cars need to be properly spotted according to each customer. The customers are Terry's Produce, Sajeki Wine and Spirits, and Frank's Farm Co-op. We have to pull the empty UP boxcar from Frank's Co-op. This industry receives animal feed and materials for local farmers. Many of the product comes from the Midwest. Next, we have to switch around our refrigerated cars. That way they are properly spotted in order.
Terry's produce receives fresh fruit and vegetables. Most of the product comes from out west and the south. Many of the local crops, including corn and apples, are locally delivered by truck. This industry uses refrigerated boxcars. The loads are set out and the empties are picked up. Next door is Sajeki Wine and Spirits. This Polish business, if you can guess, sells alcoholic beverages. Wine is delivered by rail from California, so it's not uncommon to see Western Railroad reefers being spotted. During the summer and fall, beer is shipped by rail. Can you guess what beer was made locally in Pennsylvania? Type your answers in the comments below. To put our cars at the Emma Frey House in order, we will first need to pick up the Frank's Co-op box car that was on the storage track. Then we will next put in order the Sajeki's Wine and Spirits along with Teddy's Produce box cars. That way they are all properly in order when they are now delivered. This goes to show in only a few feet of space you can have some very challenging 
operations and just with a few industries, if not just one or two industries. Coming past the camera will be PR5. This is a mixed freight that comes out of Philadelphia and heads to Reading, Pennsylvania. It is being pulled by I-1A. L-1As and I-1As were very common on the Penn Reading Industrial Division. On this section of the main line, it wasn't rare to see double headers including J1s and T1s from the Reading Railroad along with the Pennsylvania Railroad. All of our freight trains in an operating session, especially our through trains or trains that need to be doing a pickup or set out in Vine Street Yard, are properly blocked in order for Reading, Allentown, Harrisburg, Bethlehem Steel, and Philadelphia. With all of our cars in order, it is time to officially spot Emma Frey House. I hope you enjoyed this lengthy video of our operating session. This is only part one of the Emma Loco. As you can see, there is a lot of work that can be done in a short amount of space, especially when you enjoy switching like I do. Stay tuned for the next part as we will work Emma Cement and the Humble Freight House, including Boyle Oil Company. You guys take care and I'll see you for the next part. If you like these kind of videos, please smash that like button, subscribe to us, comment below if you enjoy operating sessions as well, and I will see you next time on the Penn Reading Industrial Division. Take care.